Hi everybody, I'm Melanie and today we're going, the topic that we're going to talk about is knee pain and specifically patellofemoral joint pain syndrome. People who have this sort of knee pain generally feel pain on the inside of their kneecap. It starts to hurt every time they walk, going upstairs, going downstairs, tends to um, aggravate this sort of issues. Now people who normally get this sort of symptoms are people who run a lot, like runners, cyclists, or people who sit and cross their legs a lot tend to have this sort of issue. So if you look at our knee structure, this is the outside of your knee and that's the inside of the knee. People who have this sort of symptoms tends to have very tight muscles on the outside of your knee. Yeah, and what happens is when you have a very tight muscles on the outside of your knee, it pulls your kneecap outwards in, in that sort of direction. It pulls your kneecap into that direction because the structure here is a bit tighter. Makes sense? So every time when you pull that knee out, can you see if you pull that kneecap out that direction, you compress the structure here on the inside of your knee. And that's why people tend to feel the inside of the knee pain. is A normal knee when you move up and down, so if you bend your knee up and down, the kneecap stays fairly in the middle. Yeah, but what happens with people with this sort of symptom is every time they bend their knee, the kneecap is being pushed out that way. Yeah, so it's being pushed, whoops, <laughs> it's being pushed out that way. Yeah, and every time you bend, if you push out that way, can you see how it compresses the inner parts of the knee? That's why it hurts. Okay, in um, cases that's more serious, people who have really tight muscles and and really weak muscles on the inside, what happened is it's exactly what happened just now when I accidentally pull it a bit too far is every time when they bend, the whole knee kept dislocate outside. Yeah? So people who tend to have dislocated knee tend to have this issue as well that the whole kneecap goes to the side and then it will just, most of the time a, a physiotherapist would just relocate it back or people tend to relocate it back themselves when they straighten their knee, it just pops straight back in. The first issue with this sort of problem is very tight outside structure that pulls your kneecap out that direction. The second issue is people generally have weakness on the inside of uh, the knee as well. So the inside of your quartz muscle generally have a firing timing that's a bit off, yeah? Normally the quartz muscle on the outside and the inside should fire at the same time so the knee stays in the right alignment, yeah? But people who tend to have this sort of knee pain, the inside muscles fire a bit slower than the outside. So what happens is when they activate their quartz, this activate first before this makes sense and that again pull the knee on the outwards direction okay so and the last thing that happens is generally with uh, with this issue is that people have very weak glutes now a lot of people when they have weak glutes what happens is when they squat the knee sort of falls in that way and that's when you keep compressing on the inner side of your knee so you have to have very good glute strength to actually keep the alignment when you're running Okay. In the clinic, when we see people with this sort of syndrome, we generally start them with stretching on the outside of the thigh muscles to loosen the muscles so that it falls back into alignment. Secondly, we start training the activation of the inner quartz muscles so that they fire at the same time instead of one first then the other. And lastly, it's glute activation. We start activating the glutes so that it keeps the knee in the right alignment as well. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to do all these three exercises. If you do have knee pain, do try out these exercises and see if it helps. If it doesn't, then do seek professional help to see what's really causing your knee pain. So normally the first exercise that we give people who suffer from PFBS is to give them a foam roller and to start teaching them how to stretch out all the muscles at the side that's tight so that you can pull the knee back into the central alignment. Yeah? So the first exercise is you're going to stretch out the side of your thigh, yeah? So it starts from your hip, yeah? And you're going to crawl all the way up to your knee. And you're just going to go up and down like that, okay? Find the spot that hurts the most and do like little oscillation in it. Normally I get people to do it for a good two minutes or so, just up and down. And then a couple of times a day, so about two or three times a day. Yeah? And sometimes if it's really bad, you're going to feel, if you hit a certain spot, 
want. You're going to feel that it's that hurting down to your knee. And that's a good sign. I want you to keep focusing on area like that and then keep rolling them out. Okay? The looser they get, the less you're going to feel your knee pain. So, now the next exercise is to activate your bum muscles. So I normally get people to lie on their side. That's the first exercise we give. Is we get them to bend their knees slightly and then keep the hip forward and lift your knee up. Keeping the ankle together and just lifting the knee up. This is what we call the climb exercise. Yeah? And after a while, you'll start feeling a sort of like an achy sensation, like a muscle activation sensation in your bum muscles. Okay? You're going to do that however many repetition that you find until your muscle fatigue. Okay? Normally, I tell people, do the exercise until you feel that the difficulty level is about a good 7 out of 10, and that's when you stop. And you're going to do 3 sets of that amount of repetition. But it's how to activate the inner quartz muscles. And people who have this sort of knee pain generally have the timing of that activation of the muscle is off. So this is not a strengthening exercise. It's just an exercise to get the muscle firing again. Yeah? So all you need to do is sit upright and you want to press, press most of your pressure down into the heel. See how my toe is nice and relaxed? I'm not pushing down on my toe at all. It's just a heel press. Okay? If you press as hard as you can down, uh, towards the floor with your heel, hold that for a good 30 seconds, you should start feeling this muscle starts to bend. Okay, the inner side of your quartz muscle, the inner thigh muscles. Okay, it's not the outside. If you feel that the outside is activated, you need to do the foam rolling a little bit more before you do this exercise. So press down on the heel for about a good 30 seconds and you start feeling the burn on this part of your muscles. And then do that for about, repeat it for about five to 10 times, 30 seconds, five to 10 times a day, okay? So there's three exercises. First is the foam rolling on the outside of your thigh muscles. The second one is glute activation. And the last one is pressing down on your heel to activate the inner quartz muscle. These are the few exercises that we normally start off with. And once the symptom improve, we progress the exercise. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And please, if you like the video, click the red button down below, the subscribe button, and then the notification button as well, so you get weekly notification of our uploads in health-related topic. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!